Hi friends, and welcome to Viral Vegas, where we chat with familiar faces in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Meredith Hall. On this episode, we have a guest who is not new to being in front of the camera. I want to bring in News 3's morning meteorologist, Chloe Coast. Thanks for uh, having me on, and thanks for letting me do this in sweatpants, which no one can, no one knows until now. But no one knows. Well, now they know. Viral. It, so it's totally fine. So we'll just get into it. Could you give us just an overview as to what you do? I am the morning meteorologist for News 3 and the CW Las Vegas. I um, have, I, I think I have the best job ever. I get to tell people about how the weather is just about wonderful almost every single day of the year. And uh, yeah, in between uh, doing the broadcast, I get to do a lot of fun assignments in town. I get to do a lot of community events and uh, I don't know. It's really, I, I never thought I'd be here, but I'm, I'm really grateful for, for this position that I'm in. So a little Chloe backstory. You did <laughs> not think you'd be doing weather, but I wanted to show this video of you doing the weather in college. Yeah. You didn't think you'd be there. No, no, that, um, this, <laughs> this is hilarious because we had this kind of show at Washington State University uh, called Cable 8. And we had to put together these broadcasts, like little mock newscasts. And it was funny when I got assigned to do the weather segment. Uh, at the time, I was just a communications major, emphasis on broadcast news. And I also got a degree in political science, too. So I was like, I don't care about math or science. I don't I, I, I didn't really um, find the the weather thing at the time too interesting so it's it's kind of funny i definitely phoned it in on that broadcast but i'm glad i saved the clip because it's like you know the comparison from then and now it's it's i can't think of anything else i'd rather be doing but you know little old me back then was like nope <laughs> you uh after college you started off as a reporter so at the time of that video you had no idea you'd been doing weather like what you just said uh could you tell us how you made that switch over from being a reporter to doing weather it was a uh, kind of an accident, actually. Um, you know, I, I'm really passionate about storytelling. I was really passionate about being out in the community, and I still have that passion to this day. Um, I got injured covering a uh, presidential campaign fundraiser, which, um, you know, you, you can see me right there. I'm in Carmel, California, and uh, I was actually covering Joe Biden. <laughs> and uh, uh, long story short, I uh, was carrying a bunch of gear. I, uh, you know, kind of twisted my knee funny, tore my cartilage, had to have surgery. And, uh, you know, it just wasn't really the same outlook with doing uh, reporting again. I couldn't really carry the equipment at the time. So uh, it was suggested to me to try a whole bunch of different jobs in the newsroom. I did social media and the working the desk assignment, you know, assisting and stuff. And then it kind of landed on weather. Someone was one of my, my news director at the time was like, you know what, maybe we should try you on weather. And you know, I, I thought it was kind of funny. And then I had so much fun because that kind of position, um, not only do you have to be really well in tune with what's happening with the forecast, but you also have to have the personality to be able to tell a good story so people understand what you're trying to say when it comes to the weather pattern change. So I oddly fell in love with doing that job. So I went back to school. I got another degree, so three degrees. <laughs> and so finished the meteorology degree through Mississippi State University and uh, haven't looked back and haven't looked back. And uh, it's it's just funny how things come full circle. And you kind of like want to look back and tell yourself, ha that was kind of funny. You almost didn't like this. And now it's your favorite thing. It's also kind of funny. Not a lot of people can say that their career was started because of a president of the United States. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I was I was trying to um, I mean, it was unlikely that that I was going to get an interview with Joe Biden at the time. He was the vice president and he was there for a fundraising event and, and media was kind of staged outside. And so it was unlikely I was going to get an interview, but I wanted to get the shot of the motorcade. So it's yeah, it's it's hilarious now. Um, I can thank uh, I can thank Biden for my career in meteorology because it took me on this interesting little journey that led me here, which is I think that's really I don't know a lot of people who can say that. That's yeah. Yeah. So uh, along with that journey, you made your way to Vegas. So why Vegas? You could have gone to any market in the country, but you came here fall 2015 and you've been here since. So why come and stay here? 
You know, it's funny. Uh, I had a, a few different opportunities to go to, gosh, where was it? I think it was like Birmingham, Alabama. Um, where were the other places? It, there was like one place in Florida. Um, you know, I was, I was maybe looking to, to continue in California. And, uh, uh, before I came to Las Vegas, I actually ended up working in Reno and I started doing weather reporting and anchoring like the, the, the triple kind of threat position. And, uh, you know, I was kind of looking for a little bit more stability and a uh, position opened up here. And I was, you know, initially it's funny because I initially thought, oh, you know, I, I can't imagine living in Las Vegas for, for a lifetime, but I'll be here for a few years. And it's funny. It's kind of like that, that gotcha moment when life happens to you, um, came here, uh, moved here, loved it. And I don't want to leave. Don't kick me out. Um, but you know, I, I fall in, in love with this city. Um, I think my favorite part is, is the community. I mean, I, I just love it here so much. It's really such a unique place. And, uh, you know, <laughs> how many, how many places, uh, are like this city we've, we've really grown so much over the last few years, not just in events, which I love to be a part of, especially nonprofits, but also growth of our sports teams. I mean, I feel like Las Vegas is like the little engine that could, and we just keep proving to the world each event, each game at a time that we're just bigger and better than ever. So that's why I love to be here. And the weather's also kind of great. <laughs> Absolutely. And doing the weather in Vegas, I feel like you're able to have a little bit more fun with the subject matter than like with, say, reporting. Uh, what are some of the most fun things you've been able to do or cover? Gosh, you know, I would say probably the biggest career highlight for me, there's I, it's hard to boil it down because I, I have fun every single day. But if I had to pick the top ones, we randomly had uh, Drew Barrymore in our studio. And that was like the coolest thing ever. She jumped in and did the weather segment with me. And I was just like, what, how is this happening? And she was just like the coolest person I think I've ever met. And, you know, in Las Vegas, you'll meet a bunch of famous people um, every now and then. And she hands down is the nicest person I have ever met. She was so kind to not only everyone on the air, but behind the scenes. And she really took time with everyone. And for me, that just seeing that someone being so genuine and so kind. And it's funny when um, that picture was snapped, one of her assistants, I was, she was like, oh, I'll send you the photo. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. Is this, is this real life still? Is it? And uh, I was like, wow, she's like really nice. And her assistant told me, she's like, she's like this everywhere she goes she's like this with every single person and i was just like oh so huge no, drew barrymore fan and that i still can't believe that happened but i'm glad the pictures are there to like show <laughs> but to prove that it happened and then uh probably the other thing was going to the olympics which is also really random because i came to las vegas to do the weather and then i got sent to cover the 2016 rio olympics which is the wildest journey I've ever been on. I'm a big fan of sports. I played a lot of sports like back in the day, but I met Ryan Lochte. I got to hang out with all the people from the Today Show. That's like my idol, Sue Bird with the Seattle Storm. Now she's retired, but I got to hang out with all the people from the Today Show. And uh, I'm just, I, I'm just grateful and in awe. And it's like, there have been so many pinch me moments. It's like, I don't want to say I'm numb, but it's just like, wow. And I'm just, I don't know. I'm very grateful. So this segment is called Viral Vegas. Have you had any of your TV moments go unintentionally viral? Oh, boy. Uh, I think we'll let the clip for speak for itself, Meredith. <laughs> I can't I can't jump in. I've got a microphone. Can we ask your oh, photographer to pan down to your okay, you know feet, what? Why not? Chloe? Can we see your feet? All right, feet? I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. See ya. Oh, my oh! gosh. She did it. She did it. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her wearing high heels a minute ago. Oh my goodness. Cannonball Chloe, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I still get Cannonball emails Chloe. about that. Like, that was like right after I got here. And that was like, what, 2015, 2016, maybe. And I still get emails. People are like, are you going to jump in the pool again? And I'm like, maybe. Maybe. <laughs>
But yeah, that I didn't I didn't think that'd be that big of a hit because everyone jumps in pools around here. But I, apparently, if you're you know spontaneous and you know, I didn't tell my photographer, so I'm glad he caught it on video. Could you imagine? If that just was <laughs> spontaneous and on live TV. I feel like people would love just love seeing a reporter jump into a pool. It's funny. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> the, the the I got the nickname Cannonball Chloe after that, so that was a that was a joy. <laughs> So what advice would you give someone maybe just coming into the news industry? You're literally, or not even the news industry, but television. You're literally a scientist. Like what? You're, <laughs> like you're so cool. What advice would you give someone, maybe a young girl? Like what? Well, first of all, you're the cool one. You're doing <laughs> this show and I'm just grateful to be on it. Like it's like, again, one of those pinch me moments. I'm like, what am I doing here? Like what? Are you Gosh. sure you picked the pick the right person like um uh you know the advice i give to someone would be um to follow your dreams work really hard because nothing comes easy it might look easy behind the scenes but oh my goodness you have not <laughs> you have not lived until you put makeup on in less than one minute and you're live on tv and you're covering breaking news and you're you know running all around town you're learning about all these different subjects you're going back to school you're you know, just putting in that daily grind, you're giving it your all every day. And I think, um, you know, look at life as the glass half full and, you know, things will be difficult. I think in any field, people can expect that. Um, there will be hardships, there will be tough times and not everything is, is, uh, you know, all sunshine and roses and whatever it's, you got to expect the tough stuff too. But how you overcome it really kind of shows what your character is. So don't give up, work hard, be positive, and always believe in yourself. I can't begin to tell you how many people did not believe in me. I had, you know, even family who uh, who were even like, I don't think, I don't think this is for you. I don't think you could go to college. I don't think you could do this stuff. This is outrageous. Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? And you know what? I took that fuel and I pushed myself to prove them wrong. And, uh, you know, you'll find, you know, to whoever would be listening to this advice, <laughs> um, you know, you will, you will bump into those hurdles, but as long as you, and it sounds so cliche, but it's so true. And it's so true. And I wish someone I mean, I believed in myself, but it's also nice to kind of hear it from someone else. So I'm telling you, believe in you. If you have a dream and you have a goal you want to achieve and you know you can do it and maybe everyone is against you, but you know in your heart you've got this, go for it. You will get there. Sometimes it takes time and it takes a lot of work, a lot, and it's not easy, but you will get there. Oh, you tugged at my heartstrings a little there. You were so cool. <laughs> no, I almost cried. I was like, girl, get it together. You're wearing a tie-dye sweater. Don't start falling. <laughs> like for no reason. I also have a dog that's being <laughs> this is ah. Oh, they came back in the room. I know. I know. He's like, oh my I need gosh. attention. This is my dog, my dog Bear. Misty is in here too. She's right. Oh, where is she? We love Bear and Misty. There she is, oh, right there. Misty. All right, guys. Yeah. So they're like, I, Mom, why are you sad? Is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers to kind of wrap things up, Chloe? I would just say, you know, life is short. Push yourself. Uh, try new things. You, I mean, based on my experience, doing things that I never thought I would do, like I never thought I'd be interested in doing the weather. And now it's my favorite thing to do and one of my biggest passions in life. So I would say try new things, be spontaneous, be yourself, and uh, have a good time because life is short. Absolutely. And I love that we brought the dog in for the end of the show. I love that right. so much. <laughs> say goodbye, Bear. Bye. Bear, well, Bear. Thank you. Thank you so much again for joining us, Chloe. Of course. Thanks for having me, Meredith. This has been so much fun. Of course. Tune in next time where we will talk all things viral in Las Vegas. Are you a Las Vegas influencer? Have you gone viral in Las Vegas? Email me at mhall at lasvegasnevada.gov for the chance to be featured on our next episode. You can find us at City of Las Vegas on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Facebook also.
and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our next interview with your favorite influencer.